Yeah. Yeah, baby, we're here in Van City right now, downtown Eastside, Rickshaw Theater, ready to set off the hometown tour. Addy fresh off the jet from the Philippines. If you can't tell, he's tan. <laughs> well, he's got a seventy dollar tattoo on his arm. <laughs> Way better. I wish I could get a seventy dollar tattoo. Fresh off the jet. We're just waiting out here in the waiting room. Uh, Kaleidoscope. That's the event. Trying to raise money for the downtown east side. That's my hood, man. Been here like two and a half years. Showing support over here. And yeah, we're just waiting to go on. The left is going up right now. Crazy band from Van City throwing it down. And uh, yeah, after this, we're going to Winnipeg. Peg City. Woo! Woo! Now we're going for the Toronto. And after that, we're going to Hamilton City. 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 We're going home. Woo! Oh, we're going home. Starting our trip here to Vancouver, not to Vancouver, to Winnipeg. Yeah, I'm really tired, haven't slept. Driving in Integra. Shout out to Justine for letting us use this. Mike's car got a flat tire, so we're uh, squishing. I forgot my password. No, she didn't forget it. I just told her not to bother, and then a little boy calls us, <laughs> telling us that we should bring it just in case. And I don't blame him. He works at the airport, but I also worked at the airport. <laughs> and ain't no one tell me we have to take no fucking passports to domestic flights. Anyway, it's raining, and yeah. This right quick. We just had some deep fried chicken skins. <laughs> some deep fried hey, chicken skins and some some sort of empanada and some matter. Deep hey, fried bro. chicken skins. And now we're just getting Big ready. up, Jemmy's grocery. Jemmy's groceries. Jemmy's grocery. And <laughs> yeah, we're just getting ready for a show tonight. We just uh we just actually heard our song on the radio here on uh, Streets FM. 
And if you could tell by everyone sitting, we're fucking leaning hard <laughs> off all this food. Yeah, we got mad itis from the deep fried chicken skins. Oh, oh yeah, man. We'll just, we'll just catch you later tonight at the show. No pub. No pub. Free lumpia. Free, Free lumpia. Free lumpia. <laughs> no pub. Four men from out of province won't soon forget their time in Winnipeg. They ended up in hospital after a brawl broke out at a bar on Ellis last night. And that's where CTV's Stacey Ashley is tonight. Stacey, what happened to the four men? Well, all four men were stabbed. The fight started in this pub behind me. It moved across this way through the parking lot and into this park. If you come a little closer, you can actually still see there's blood here on the concrete. Things got intense when around 20 people started exchanging punches. He came for a good time but left on stretcher. This isn't how anyone at Low Pub Bar expected the night to end. People crying and saying, don't do it, don't do it. it sound like a girl's voice. And when I heard that, I heard a Ugh, sound like someone got punctured. Not one, but four men stabbed. Just after 11, a fight broke out inside the Ellis Avenue bar. All this commotion, blood all over the ground. Low Pub's manager, Jack Jonason, says one man inside became very agitated. Next thing they knew, 20 people spilled onto the street. It was just a bunch of people that were rolling around on the ground, punching and kicking. Jonason took over the bar two and a half years ago. At that time, he says police were showing up three to five times a week. Since then, staff has worked hard to make this a safe place. We established a community. Unfortunately, yesterday, the groups that or the people that were here were people that weren't a part of that community. Each night, the bar showcases different bands and DJs. Just before the attack, Vancouver's Boombox Saints were about to take the stage. Monday is normally hip hop night, not anymore. Cut it off at the at the at the throat. Um, we uh, you know we don't we don't ever we've never had these kinds of incidents in the bar, and we don't ever want this to happen again. The bar is attached to Winnipeg's Hostel International. Travelers from all around the world stay here. Manager Richard Meglio is confident this attack won't give the hostel a bad rap. It'd be different if it was happening every week, but you know, like I said, one one time in three years, I'm not concerned at all. The victims are all between 21 and 22 years old. They were taken to hospital in stable condition. So far, police have no arrests. They're still trying to piece together exactly what happened. In the meantime, Low Pub is looking at beefing up security, maybe with some more cameras and extra staff. They're planning a safety meeting later this week. For more information, log on to our website. So, Stacey, what about the band in your story, the Boombox Saints? How are they reacting to what happened? Well, they're back on the road tonight, but they did have time to release this statement, and it reads, Our warmest thoughts and prayers go out to those who were injured. Boombox Saints have been looking forward to giving a performance for their fans, family, and friends in Winnipeg. We love our fans and do not want to displease them. We promise to be back in Winnipeg with a bigger show in the near future. Thanks for this, Stacey. CTV Stacey Ashley reporting live tonight from Ellis Avenue. Okay, we're here at, uh, I don't know the code for this airport. But it's Manitoba, LYZ. Y Y Z here in Manitoba. We're about to leave, and it's we woke up late and we're rushing, and I don't even know what's. I'm all discombobulated. That's why I have these sunglasses on. They're the only ones I can find right now. Well, yeah, we're on our way to Toronto, Hamilton, home. Too bad about last night. What can we do? <laughs> Just so it just so it just happens, man. Sometimes it happens where you are and where you're, when you're about to perform and stuff, right? So, but we'll see you in Toronto, man. And yeah, be safe. Stop the violence. Peace.